uh, Erlend Heyberg, I'm the managing director of uh, Horeth HTL's uh, London office. Uh, I'm Norwegian, background from the uh, F&B industry, I'm actually a trained chef. Went back to university and did a bachelor and a master in hotel and finance. After university I moved into asset management into Continental and that's how I ended up in real estate rather than uh, kitchens. I think the most interesting project I've been working on was a large management contract negotiation in uh, for a luxury hotel in Cairo. It was negotiated over an 18 month period and we had advices and principles stretching from Washington DC to uh, Doha and it was finally signed 10 years ago and after many years of silence and questioning whether it's ever going to happen it has actually been announced that the hotel is opening in two months. I think one of the biggest challenges for the industry in Dubai is how we are seeing how it has to restructure itself. Historically it's been a luxury market, everyone's built five-star hotels, people have been willing to pay 1,500-2,000 dirhams a night without asking a question. And as the industry has been growing and we're now at about 100,000 rooms in Dubai and with a pipeline about 50, we are getting up to 150,000 rooms, the industry has to look for new source markets and the natural supply of customers for Dubai is actually Asia and we are seeing how these markets are developing at a fast pace between China, India and uh, Iran for example. Historically Dubai has been focusing purely on the development or largely of upper upscale and luxury products. Unfortunately the new clientele coming into the market are not used to paying the prices for those segments. They are actually looking for a product that actually gives them the opportunity to visit Dubai for a price they can afford to pay. And I think there's a great opportunity for Dubai going forward to actually continue growing its immense tourism industry. However, it can't continue just relying on the luxury segment. There is a huge demand for more of a mid-market product, new lifestyle products that actually meet the requirements of the millennials. The industry is changing. We are no longer just expecting to stay in a traditional luxury hotel. People actually want something more exciting and that can actually be cheaper to develop and cheaper to run, which actually gives new opportunities to the industry.